Hello, welcome to another tutorial. I thought as I was sort of like a bit off sewing that I'd probably do something really simple to help me get back into the swing of things. Um, I've decided as I've already done a 70s and a 1940s uh, apron, I thought I'd have a go at this 1950s style apron. It's an authentic uh, but up to date pattern from Simplicity number 48. Five, eight. I just uh, and there's all the pattern pieces uh, cut out ready. I've got uh, tie ends, two of them. I've got um, a waistband cut on uh, the fold. I've got two pockets in contrasting fabrics, which obviously as I'm going along you'll see that. And then there's the yellow background for the apron and the. Um, apron I'm doing on the pattern is number two, which is a yellow one. So I just there you go. We'll just zoom in and have a look at that. It's a bit bright through the. But there you go. That's that one with contrasting packet pockets. Uh, authentic 1950s apron. So here we go. Let's have a go then. The first step, uh, the pattern tells you to stay stitch waist line edge but because I've actually done um, two sides of this fabric uh, to make it reversible so it's a bit neater on the, on the back side um, I've actually f um, it's already been stay stitched and sewn together as far as I'm concerned so the next stitch is to do uh, stage is to do pockets and um, I always clip my pockets at the sides so that when I'm folding them under just take the pins out then I'll show you I already know where to fold them under I don't have to mark you just stitch you, you just clip into each side where the pattern line where it says a fold line across there just clip one side and the other and then obviously then when it comes to folding you know exactly and it's the same both sides so there you go clip either side and fold. So the pocket size. Stitch under quarter of an inch on upper edge. So maybe quarter of an inch and press, which is across there. Uh, and turn to quarter an upper side of pocket. So you do it on the turn it to the inside. Then what you do once you've sewn your quarter of an inch is turn it that way to the outside and and you stitch the side seam, so you stitch both sides. Once you've, once you've done your quarter of an inch on that way, turn it that way, um, then press again and then stitch to the sides. And I'll come back when I've done that bit. So this is one that I did the quarter of an inch seam, wrong side together, quarter of an inch seam. Use the side, you, uh, measure and press really well and then you won't have to use pins. It's his cot work. This is 100% cotton to hold the crease really, really well. Um, then use the measurement, move your needle across, backwards and forwards, whichever way. Make sure that you're sewn well within there and sew across. Then you turn it to right sides together. And this creates a facing. You do 5 eighths of an inch down that side. Again, make sure where you've got the cut lines either side put them straight, press, it holds the crease really really well that you don't need pins, pin it if you need to. Um, make sure you use your, I've got lines on mine that tells me that for where 5 eighths of an inch, I put my needle in the, in the, in the centre, use my measuring tape to measure to make sure I'm in the right area and then do quarter, um, 5 eighths of an inch just to there and back either side which creates this. Then all I've done then is just took it. I don't take it all the way down because I've still got to do it. Turn it through, cut it from there to the top to reduce the bulk, and then get your points and turn through. Put your points and turn through, and then your crease line is still there. Make sure it's on the crease, and then press, and then we'll go to the next stage. Right there, are my pockets and the beamed turned through, turned, 
the other way. That's the basin I created. And then pressed across the top where the crease was, so I know they're dead straight across the top. And then obviously, because we've sewn it 5 eighths of an inch to cr on the sides, we still need to turn over and press the rest to 5 eighths of an inch, two sides and a bottom, and press. And when you turn over, you've got a complete square. Now the pockets are now ready to go on the garment uh, when we get that far. This next stage is where I place the pockets onto the onto the fabric. Now don't forget, I couldn't do it from the beginning because I placed two pieces of fabric together to make one. So I'm going to mark the top of one side, which then uh, will be the placement spots for my pockets. So I'm just going to do the top two on either side of the fabric, and I do that by. Now don't forget, because I've already sewn this together a quarter of an inch, I've actually laid the pattern on with a making sure that it's a quarter of an inch, um, uh, quarter of an inch space all the way round, so I'm getting the pockets in the right place. So basically, you put a pin through the spot like that, and I'll do that on the side as well. And then you pull pattern piece back where the pins stick through, do a mark on either. I'm only going to do the top because where I place this automatically will fit at the bottom. And I'll do it the other side as well. And this will be my pocket placement on the top piece. And I've obviously chosen that side to be the top of my fabric, the top of the opening. As you can see, that's uh, how I put my pockets on. So I just lift up and pull back, and as far as I'm concerned, they're in the right place, all pinned and ready to sew. I'm going to use the edge of my uh, foot along the sides to make sure it's straight, because you've got a double fabric, make sure there's no creases at the back and uh, make sure you go forwards and backwards at the beginning. I'm sewing on my Atlantis. Probably the nearest I've got to a 1950s sewing machine. Try and keep it all authentic. Let's do one more and then put your press foot up, turn, make sure it's all flat again, it's not creased at the back. too close to my pin there, look. <laughs> there we go. And, that's, and then you do exactly the same to the other side. Right, the next bit is to fit the waistband. See if I can get it up so you can see. You fit, so that's the front where the pocket is, turn it over. So you get your waistband and you do right sides together and then sew 5 eighths of an inch because that's what it says 
on the on the paper pattern that you cut it out. Uh, as you can see, I've already ironed all the five eighths of an inch all the way, so I know exactly what I'm sewing on both sides and both ends. Five eighths of an inch pressed, five eighths of an inch. So from the top, find the centre mark, fold it in half, put it. Find the centre mark of your apron, mark it, put the centres together, then pin on the way out. Once you've sewn it and you've got no and everything's fine, then obviously the bit you cut, because this this is the front of the apron, and that'll be higher, because you've done five eighths of an inch down. What you want to do then is do not cut anything on your waistband but just cut the the apron bit down to about a quarter of an inch from the seam line. So there it is. Do not cut this. Just cut the apron. So when you turn it over, and as you can see, I've already ironed the 5 eighths of an inch in. When you turn it over, then you've got less bulk here. And then obviously, You've got a stitching line to go by, which is just under there. Pin that on the stitching line, then obviously just past it slightly. Put both ends, as you can see, that's my five eighths of an inch. Turn that over, like that. Fold it in, like that. Make sure that's in at the ends. It's very difficult when I'm leaning over the camera. But fold the ends in to your 5 8 press mark. Fold that and then fold it over like that. Pin it into side to side, end to end, just like that. And then pin it to the apron. But obviously then just catching it right on the edge to cover that, seat, that sewing line and then you'll have a waistband that's been sewn over. I mean, later on you'll be top stitching that at the top end. Uh, so anyway, so we'll do that now. As you can see, I've turned it over and pinned it all. And don't forget to pin to turn in your end and then pin that so it's dead straight. There you go, make sure it's straight together. And then I'm going to start sewing from this side, uh, this way actually. I'm going to start sewing this way. And then I'm going to work with that and I'm going to go as close to the edge evenly as possible. And there it is, sewn as close to that edge as possible and as neat as I can get it all the way across the front. And I hope you can see the stitches. And let's go to the next step. Right, this is one side of this uh, um, tie. Um, I did cut two pieces, but then if you think about it, um, on the apron piece I've backed it with the same fabric to make it uh, twice, so I've got to do the same. So I've got to cut another two of these, and there's the tie end, and I've obviously I've to get it together um, I've done right size together, sewn it all the way around, a uh, quarter of an inch, and then turned it inside out, pushed the corners, and then uh, did the end, um, and then I've top stitched it, stitched it all the way around. Now I've got to do this, another one of these. Right, I've now got two ready, and obviously that's the pointy end, the one that gets tied together. And this is the end that we're going to work on now. I've got to do two rows of stitches on the, white, the longest stitch I've got, which I think is five. One along the seam line, which is there, and then one quarter of an inch inside, and then I have to gather it up. Once I've done that, we'll come back. So there you go. That's it. It's thin. Um, I s where are you? Let's see if I can get you in. Uh, I've sewn two lines gathered it, pushed it into the end and then sewn over the top. Don't like it. Uh, they could have done the waistband all in one but obviously this was the way they did it in the 1950s. 
so that's it attached both sides and I'll put it on the mannequin there you go that's it on the mannequin all done and dusted there's the picture it's the one with the patch pockets and there you go it's the one with the patch pockets um, it worked out quite, uh, quite okay there's no way I'd have done the waistband the way they did it but obviously this was the way they did it in the 1950s so I followed it just to see how it went um, if I was to do this again then I would change that um, as you know if you turn it the other way around you can actually see the same fabric the other side instead of just the back of the fabric and the same with the ties so there you go 1950s apron thank you for watching have fun